Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another NBA Playoffs of the game. This next matchup is about to be happening here in Game 2. That's right, the New Orleans Pelicans are back to play against the Phoenix Suns in Phoenix, Arizona at the Footprint Center. So this time, it's Game 2 for the Suns and Pelicans. Suns have already dominated their lead 1-0 over the New Orleans Pelicans. This time, we're about to see who could win the second game, and we can take you from the other players that, who has a mile-high average to try to hit their points record on the board. The lineups are already occurred, so let's get the game started at the Footprint Center. Well, it looks like it's about to be starting here, and they go from another game, and I think there might be a lot of things happening here at the Valley. Right, me phone? Yeah, of course we do. Chris Paul, of course, with the other players, Ben, Brandon Ingram. And right now, the reporter will be D.A. Basketball and life relate to each other, and that's how I grew up. It's through basketball. I kept my head down, kept working, and it finally paid off. Kevin, is that deep enough for you? Well, <laughs> not really, but he is getting in deep. Thank you, DA. And as of right now, these players are getting ready to be hydrated up and ready to be on the court as the lineups are already occurred. Devin Booker and Brandon Ingram are the key matchups in the shooting guard position. One way of me thinking of Devin Booker is just how his strength is turning out to be his uh, poetry to be here on the court. But I think he may be going for an hour one if he could try to keep it going along the way. Right now the Pelicans wins the tip off and we are underway to start the second game. Fueled up and we're ready to go. CJ McCollum starting with a position up here and makes a drive in the paint. Important things to know about CJ McCollum, his uh, pointage average is putting up a dominant effort here to get started here from, from the wild, wild card play-in tournaments. And of course the last one that already beaten an upset against the Lakers. He might be turning out to be just for him and with all the important stuff he needs to know, it's his truth being. Devin Booker got a great two to start things off with a drive. He's looking for his first, first bucket appearance to make his way to get into the second game. McCollum against Paul. He shoots up. It's rebounded by Bridges. Bridges takes his first rebound this game. Now for Paul. Right over to a DeAndre Ayton. Ayton makes his way. He goes right over to Crowder. Moves up. His shot of two is good. Crowder kicks the first bucket. Jay Crowder really needs uh, really hasn't gotten his attention in a while, and now he knows what he could definitely take him on. McCollum finds Jones. He's covered by Bridges on the other hand on the wing. Jones passes to Valadrudas. Five to shoot. McCollum can't make the shot. As Booker will take his first rebound here in the Everlane. Booker, outside for three, gets it to go. That will be his first three-pointer for the Phoenix Suns in the second game. What a way to start the effort here, going for Devin Booker. He really not gotten better at it. McCollum for three, that shoots around the other way as they have the three-point average back in the other lane. CJ McCollum has really gotten his good uh, stride. Sometimes he needs to get things a little bit more better. Crowder. Dish off to Aiden. Up with the fade around Brown Tunis. And it's shot. It went too wide. McCollum has an average. He goes right to Jones. Back to Val McCollum. McCollum on Paul. He goes right to Hayes. The Pelicans need to get a quick shot. And they need to go fast. With the fade free. It went off Timbaland and hit the rim. Booker with the ball. Now he bounces off to Paul. 
back to Booker. The good effort, effort here for the Suns making another pass off. McCall up. His shot way too close. As a great defense puts up on the Pelicans. McCollum against Paul. He dishes off to Jones. Just two minutes to play here in the first quarter of the game. McCollum can't hit. And goes out of bounds as it will be first turn off for the Suns. Take a look at the last game. Jonas Valanciunas has made his pass week 9.7. But his average for this season is 17.6. The one way to look for the description here for Jonas Valanciunas is he has nothing to prepare from his uh in his upper range on the outside. But all this takes is to be it, is to be on a right target on the outside, but he knows he gets things better at it. Oh, a little bit short, but Booker has a cover. We had a great rebound here for Booker. Might need to get by if he wants to go right away. And pass off to Paul. Dish for three. That's good. And it's Aiden with the assist. What a play here for Chris Paul. Now he got a good handle here as they are just extending up by five. McCollum against Paul. The screen puts up on Hayes, was denied. He goes up, McCollum misses. That's a good defense. You don't want to get uh, bounded off here with the foul of take. Paul for three. Outside it goes. A three-pointer for the Phoenix Suns. And that's on Devin Booker. What a great rebound here. Looks like the Suns can definitely try to do things over and over again. McCollum against Paul. He goes right over to Ingram. Inside Ingram. That's a good shot here as Ingram takes a two bucket points for this season. The one thing about Brandon Ingram, he has gotten better uh, use of it from his skills. But right now, for this point, he might need to know what he can do for his average if he wants to take it here to the other end. Fade right back to Booker. Just six to shoot. Right in Ingram looking for him. Watching him from behind is Valanciunas and the rebound is picked up. Ingram. He goes in the paint and he makes a good two-pointer. That's a number two for the Pelicans. Pelicans really dominate this one. They're trying to pick up a hustle. Ball right to DeAndre Ayton. Right back to Paul. He takes it in, inside goes Paul with a great drive. And the Suns lead up by six. McCollum against Paul, three seconds to shoot. He shows for three, and I will not be in the zone as this will end up the first quarter of the game. Great start here for the Suns. They are working their way up. 15 to nine is your score. We'll be right back in the second quarter. I think that's something that we're doing an amazing job of right now. And that's communicating, talking through things, and making sure, even when it gets tough, that we continue to communicate. The one thing that improves me here was Chris Paul on uh, his working together with uh, with the teammate here from uh, from Chris Paul and their teammates. They know they have the answer. I think there might be another solution for him to keep an eyes on. Glad you make it to join us here for the second period as we're about to start now. Here's, here's Alvarado to Graham, back to Alvarado after the score by JaVale McGee. He bumps him out, and he got some. He almost got even called with the foul that releases up, but it still counts. Yeah, that was definitely intense. I thought this would usually be turned off and out of the way, but not to say this could be very hard for the defense to try to pick them way up. Shamit, right back to Craig. Six to shoot on the shot clock. Craig right around him. Fade off shot. No good. That will be Nance Jr. with the first rebound. Just about 4 or 3 remaining in the first half of the period. Here's Hernan Gomez against Payne. He goes up. Finding anybody. Murphy for 3. That will put him in the bucket range and they are just coming back in to be trailing up by 3. Yeah, what a great gap here on offense. Looks like the Suns are, are starting to go with a mental breakdown. Johnson losing the ball, and it's on Murphy. Murphy going for three to tie it. 
No, sir, we. That will be turned off away by the Suns. Most intense one. But the steal is not going to pick it up right away. They're not going to answer it back if you're going to keep it going. Now he finds Murphy. Finds Alvarado. Back to Murphy. Right to Hernan Gomez. McGee on the cover. From Graham outside. Right around Payne. For three. And another miss by New Orleans. And now three minutes here for the first half. Johnson. Right back in the every lane. Payne. Right to Craig. Back pass by Shep. Shep it over. In and out. Didn't hand pull to make the shot. That's a tough call. Tough calls are releasing the big setup screen and they really can't pick it up here. What a great hustling rebound by Craig. And they're turning it back the other way. Johnson slams it, dunk. And they are one way ahead. They lead by five. Johnson, what a great attacker with the finishing lane of this drive. He knows he wants that dunk. Everybody wants him. Alvarado pass to Graham. Shaman on him. He takes him inside, and the first foul is called by McGee. That will be the first team foul for Phoenix Suns, and his first personal foul. Too much to be honest with you, you can't make the man make a mistake. For his moment of his being, he was going to help him out to try to stop his run. But the shot was up late. So Graham is shooting at the shooting at the free throw line to do two, and a new change that might be handling it off with the pressure. The first free throw is good for Graham. And there are some new changes here going on as four players are checked out. Four players are checked in. Valadrunas, Ingram, Temple, and McCollum. And we're on our side, all five players checked out. All five players checked in for the starting group. And he makes two free throws instead. Here's Paul. He has only scored eight points in this game in, in for game two. Now he finds Bridges with a shot. In and off. And off the target it goes. Looks like he was standing there a little bit late. He might need to be just a little bit on a tidy shot to get right into it. Nice D from a call. And a rebounding saves me by DeAndre Ayton. We're under two minutes here remaining as it will be 19 to 16. McCall outside. Good. That will be a three point opportunity here for McCall Bridges. And he gets his first three pointer. What an outstanding run. McCall Bridges got a great, great shot out, outside from the range. It's Ingram around Crowder, and he goes in. Watch out! Ingram just takes a drive here, and they are just bound to come back in the zone. Ingram really got to step it up from here. You got to watch out because that is going to be a very tough call. Drive inside Booker, and that's good. Another two pointer for Booker, and this will be 24 to 18 with under a minute to go. Now, Graham against Booker. Passes back to Ingram, right to Temple. He hasn't scored yet here for the first half of the period. Valanciunas around, hitting the line. Ingram up, and another great save here by DeAndre Ayton with a rebound. First block, first another rebound, that's one and one. What a great hustle here for the defense, and that's what you need to know. His good strength can keep it going. Devin Booker, another assist here, turning out to be just one outstanding round in his effort. I know, just to tell him that he's believing it, all of his important stats are just great. Oh, and the foul reaches up Paul, and the two bucket counts for Brandon Ingram. And they will count it here with stopping the clock at 23.1 seconds. Now Murphy will check in for Deontay Graham. And one shot is coming up for Brandon Ingram at the free throw line. He knows he can do the dunk, 
and right now he says, it's all done. If it's late, well, that's what's going to happen to you. And Ingram hits the free throw down, and they are trailing by five. Just 20 seconds to play here in the first half. Now here's Aiden. Going right back to Paul. Shoots around Booker. Bounce pass to Crowder. Fades right to Aiden. Round in, and a shot may be by Aiden. And it's Crowder with the assist. Great pass here enough with the fade and pass. Great, well done. Temple, buzz beater. And that won't count. No fouls called and the halftime is approached. 28 to 21, we'll be right back at the book, at the Footprint Center after this. Great, well done here for the first half. Let's check out your recap of the Suns and Pelicans. in the first half. That's it for now. Let's get you back to Phoenix, Arizona. See you guys. Thank you for joining us here for another exciting day of NBA Playoffs Western Conference. We're about to set things up for the third quarter of the Suns and Pelicans. The second game is starting out to be exciting, but not for Brendan Ingram tonight. Yeah, Brendan Ingram really gotten a great, great work out there. Nine points, one rebound, one assist. I think there might be another chance for him if he can play with them in Game 3 in New Orleans. Hopefully this might be another changeup to give it the good eyes on if they, he can definitely do it again. Wow, the nine shot from Murphy turned out to be a terrific block for the third quarter to start. And now they will reset it up to start try again. Paul with the fade. That's good. Another two point range here for the Phoenix Suns. And Booker takes another assist. Great work out there. It's just very good rebound. Not just too much to happen. But when I think of what happened here, it's all that counts. And that was Jones with the block. Not Murphy. Thanks for your correction. I always uh, get that wrong. Booker right to Paul. Back to Bridges. Bridges back to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Crowder around Valachunas, and he gets it ball back. Hayes making another rebound here on his drive. Now McCollum on the Paul. Screen rejected, and it's reflected away. What a great stoppage by Devin Booker when no foul is given off. Booker backing him off, finds eight in. He goes right back to Booker. Now the screen will be DeAndre Ayton. Inside coming and foul is on CJ McCollum. That will be on New Orleans first team foul. The first foul on McCollum. The good drive here, a good good help it's on the board. With DeAndre Ayton with the screen, he know he was open in the middle and that was a great choice to have him right inside. The Suns are, are adding another uh, first free throws here. They will be taking another free first free throws for game two. First free throw for Booker is in. Just a good one to make that one a shot. He is definitely really wanting to look to forward into the NBA Finals. New groups changing as this will be all four players out and three players out. Three players in. Johnson, McGee, and Payne are checked in. And Booker hits two free throws. This is now the uh, best part of the game as Devin Booker has gotten really good into it. Nine points just got better. Alvarado on Payne. Finds Ingram outside and on the cover of Booker. Screen, try to reject it away. And a shot goes up. Rebounded by Hernan Gomez. And he doesn't hit that one. 
McGee with the ball. Right over to Booker. Back to Johnson. Johnson right to Booker. Back to McGee. Back up for Bridges. Bridges back to Booker. He goes up. And this one calls to be an interference ball on with the goaltending. Just a tremendous save of mobile one block by Jones. Jones really does that one here. A lot of timing is just getting better. Most of all, I think that most of the players are going to uh, make the number average here to take the number one instantly. New groups changing as this will be Booker uh, checking out. And uh, now Shaman is checked in along with Johnson. Under three minutes left, 32 23 is the score. Alvarado up, rebounded off, and it's McGee. McGee's got a great hustle out there, looking on his way. McGee backs off to Johnson. Back to McGee. Inside. Good. And that's another two pointer for McGee. And Johnson really got a good pass off here to try to work around again. That's a great help on offense. Now Jones fights off on Johnson. He goes in there, fades away, no good. Nance Jr. puts a pressure on the ball for McGee. What a stop. McGee backs it up. Now he goes right back to Payne, jam it for three. It's rebounded by Lance Jr. Never miss here for Shamit. Shamit wasn't ready yet. He wasn't ready to start doing the three-pointers, but he wants to have more time before he can start shooting a bit in the bound. Rebounded by Jan Nance Jr. Backs it off by Hernan Gomez, and Hernan Gomez will take the shot and delivers off for two. That goes to Larry Nance Jr. with the assist. Yeah, that's true. Most of the time, Nance Jr. got it all covered up. But most of them, he's not going to uh, try to make it su succeed right in on their way. Craig, right back to Shabbat, back to Payne. In a round of Alvarado, and it will not be in today for Payne. Johnson, inside, and it's rebounded again by Shabbat. Another great average for the rebound for the Suns, as it's now 45.2 for the second game. Second games always really need that. When you really need it off that point, you just got to go right away. That's a that's amazing save of the day. McGee, no problem. With a wrap and turn, he goes around the other way. McGee has six. Six points in the paint. Not really uh, counting for that one, but I really counted for his best career. That's all he could take. Missed a three again for the Pelicans, and they are just lining up of nowhere. McGee, right off to Johnson. Johnson, right back to Shamit. Bounce pass to Johnson, back to Shamit. Right to McGee for two. It's taken up by Alvarado. Alvarado has another rebounding average of this game. Sometimes you really got to just go for the, uh, for the rebound. You don't want to make a mistake out there. Jones on Craig. Five seconds to shoot. Mount Murphy for three. And they will hold the ball. That will end the third quarter. 36 to 25 is your score. The fourth quarter is approaching as you will take a quick break here when we come back. And let's have a look at the state promises to the game. This one is going to be a very uh, difficult decision, but that was all on the Suns that put up here for Aiton. On his drive at defense, a play of this game, this might be his only way to make him step up for this game. So he's turning out to be just like anybody. And right now, the three quarters have already been finished, but now we have the last one to go to start this game off. It's 36-25. Let the fourth quarter begin. McCollum finds Valachunas. He goes right in the paint, and a great pass by C.J. McCollum. C.J. McCollum really hasn't uh, worked on his way for the uh, assists, but sometimes he really knows that like, he can definitely try things off again to work on the run. Booker, not a problem here. They are a dominating run. 
11 points for Booker, and they are extending the lead. Now Gaze finds, finds a look of man on offense. Goes right back to Ingram. Bridge trying to squeeze in a tumble. Nice D, and he gets a bell back. Crowder, right back to Bridges. Boy over to Aiden. Aiden back to Paul. Paul goes right back to Crowder. He dish off to Paul. Five to shoot. Inside, drive. That's good. Paul gets a good one work feed. Credit for hitting a number two. Paul is definitely getting things better quite a bit. Most of all, I really think he's a lot of, he's putting a lot of great work into his career. Now Valentunas makes a number two as they are trying to answer back free. Now Aiden, right back to Bridges. Goes right to Crowder. Inside, rejected by Hayes. And Aiden has it back. He gets right in there. He says, no balls and no ball up on air. I have it all mine. This is what I take to let it go fly by. Now McCullough will go right back to Ingram. He goes right inside the paint and he slams his dunk down. They are trying to catch things up as only one point score behind Paul. Paul is doing really well, but he's not trying to go right in the paint. But wow, what an average here for three-pointer. It looks like he is keeping it going. Just the three-pointer that he needs, and sometimes the pass gets right control. Paul against McCullough. Screen on Hayes. He finds Hayes. Works around, and that's another two-pointer for Hayes. Just 2.30 remaining here for the fourth quarter. Now Paul. This is up to Bridges. Bridges only has three points, and he doesn't add anything yet. Back to Aiden. Hey, right to Bridges. Inside it goes, and it's no good. Never missed by Phoenix Suns. Finds Ingram, and he gets inside, slams it down, and they're down by 10. No ruling on pressure here, rolling from deep to deep. In the range, outside, you can't just let it go wrong. Bridges answers back with the three. And the Suns are right on the rally to take a two wins of the series. McCollum against Paul. Valentunas with the screen. Goes inside, right to Graham. Goes right to Hayes with the screen. Rebound, finds off for Hayes, and Hayes doesn't hit the target, but the rebound puts up for Valentunas. Valentunas, you never want to get away with him, because of him, he has already have reached on for his rebounds. Crowder, right back to Booker, goes right to Bridges, back to Crowder. They're moving the ball around quickly here for the Suns, as they're working very good. Paul around. Two pointer misses off wide. Never miss here for the Suns. And we're down to the last minute of the play in the second game. Alley oop successful. And it was Hayes that pulled him up with a dunk. Great succeeding on alley oops here for the Pelicans, but not able to pick up their way down to tie the game up as there isn't no call to make the position into the game. Crowder making an excellent drive, and this one is putting up another two-pointer for Crowder. Crowder here for tonight, silent for the first half, only two, but not for him. Three-pointer misses off, and Aiden will have the ball. Booker outside, goes right to Aiden, right to Crowder, back to Aiden. Moves right to Bridges, back to Aiden. Fades off, just seven to shoot. Ball for three, awesome effort, and they are rocking it down the lane. Chris Paul really never want to mess him up with the trophy. And CJ McCollum rejected away by Aiden. Graham for three, and he will answer back, but it won't be enough for him to make the game. And that's it for the second game. Your final score is 53 to 42.
just a great offer here for the Suns as they are just clinching things off here. Two to the O run was just a kill off play. And now to closing up off, we send you over to David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks with Chris Paul. The playoffs are dead ahead. What are the areas of emphasis that you get yourselves ready? Keep defending, playing at the right pace, and uh, trying to make this a tough place to play. We really need our crowd and this energy, and we really feed off of them. But uh, just trying to get ready game by game. We're putting some good wins together, Chris. Thanks for your time. Kevin? Thank you, David. Thank you so much, DA. Yeah. And I hope this game turns out to be just for the next one to beat at the Smoothie King Center for the third and fourth game before returning in Phoenix, Arizona. And that is true because one of you can be ultimately the best plays ahead if there's another chance here. Now let's present the three star players of the game. Starting off with number three is Brandon Ingram. Only 13 points, two rebounds, and one assist. Just got it better with four dunks. I don't know what to say, but he almost got five in a row. I don't know what his status, but this turned out to be just a tough play he can make. Now let's head off to number two. Son of Beast, you take from gear. Thank you very much. Number two, we go right in there from the bottom to the top. It was a pressure for Devin Booker, but he has definitely done so far. Four assists, three rebounds, and just 11 points in the game. I don't know what he's going to be for the next game, but I uh, perhaps might be taking a 3-0 lead or just a 2-1 series of the game. But, but it will be determined here just ahead after the second game. Now for number one, this one goes out with the New Balance player of the game, Chris Paul, CP3, 18 points, one rebound. Four assists. Just got incredible skills there. Might be turning out to be one time enough if he can go for that run. And I bet this would have been a best game for Chris Paul to reach on with new heights and the new limits of the board. What a play. And that will to do here for the second game of the playoffs of the Suns and Pelicans. The next game will be happening here at, back in the Eastern Conference. It will be the Heat and Nets here for the second game in Miami. And we will see who else can take the stri stride effort to do, to do it again. Excuse me for just, just, uh, just, just uh, cut off here. Yeah, just don't be, uh, don't be uh, just ripping on me. Well, well, I'm not gonna do it anyway, you know. Kind of disrespecting. It is true. And I will do a few. For me, phone and son of beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. You can check out other videos that we did commentate on for the previous playoff games and the first or second games that we did. And I can definitely like to do it again, too. And after being said, peace out, everyone, for as a while as the NBA playoff dial of NBA 2K22. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful night here in the Valley of Phoenix, Arizona. The next game will be happening here in New Orleans for the third and fourth game. You don't want to miss that one out after this one. Thank you and have a great night.